Okay, welcome guys. It's Mike Newton down here. A beautiful evening here at St Anne's Old Links on probably one of the biggest uh, putting greens um, in, in probably in the country, I think, in uh, in regards to the size. It's absolutely huge. So I've got all this place to myself here, and I've got a brand new putter here to review from Ping. So embargo date, it's just been lifted as this video video is going live. Brand new putter to review. We're going to have a look at it, talk a little bit about it, test it out, and let you guys know what it's all about. Okay, so let's firstly all get, get this straight out of the box. I've not even opened this yet, so straight fresh out of the box. Now what we've got here is a mallet style. It's the new Sigma 2 uh, range here from Ping. Loads of different head models here, but this particular one I've got to review is the Fetch model. So a little bit of a mid mallet style of uh, putter head. We've got a lovely head cover, and now we've got a little wrench here, which we're gonna talk a little bit more about because these putters are adjustable in length, but in a little bit of a different way than what Ping have done in previous models. Okay, so we'll get this wrapper off to start with, which is put on very well, by the way. There we go. Okay, so first impressions here, it looks really nice. Got a nice sort of satiny sort of finish here, which is a little bit like the, the Hydropull finish that we're seeing on the new irons here. So very nice sort of finish. We've got a bit of turquoise action here. We've got a, a black sort of insert, and we've got, obviously got a mallet style here with that sort of circle in the head, a little bit of alignment aid. And this is actually a straight putter. Now, what I mean by straight is it's a face balance putter. So you'll see as I get that balance point there, you see the face sits absolutely flat. Now, obviously there's options here to get um, sort of more toe hang so basically you've got the balance point here and it was more of a toe hang it would hang like that or a mid toe hang which would hang a little bit with just a slight toe down but this particular one as I get that balance point here as best I can you can see it's a face balance putter so that sits absolutely flush so a little bit more suited to a straight back straight through sort of action which I'm uh, more of that ilk. Now, as I say, these are adjustable. So we get a little tool here, which I'm just going to open up out of the bag with a little bit of a, um, a, a guide here of how we sort of do this. And basically inside the grip here, we've got a screw going down the butt end of the grip. And as we put this little sort of tool here, you'll just sort of see that there. If I can try and focus in on that not quite focusing, but it's a little bit like the end of a normal wrench that you see with a driver. Pop that into the end of the of the putter there, and as you turn it, that will shorten it or lengthen it. So the base of this putter length can be from 32 inches to 36 inches. So a huge amount of adjustment there, which will fit probably 99% of golfers there in terms of what length they're actually wanting. So this has come out of the box here at 34 inch set as just a standard um, obviously length here, but I need to change this because I got fitted when I was down at the Pink Factory, you may have seen a video, if not, I'll put a little link up there to my putter fitting. It was actually 36 inches of length, which is much longer than I've always played with, but feels fantastic. I've still got the putter in my bag and it's a, one of the time putters from Ping. So I'm gonna adjust this now every full turn. Okay, so I've got a positive and a minus here. So every full turn, as in positive, will obviously add the length, negative will decrease it. So I need to, every full turn you make, Okay, we'll, we'll change it by a quarter of an inch. So I need to change this by quite a bit, obviously to get this up to 36 inches of length. So I'm gonna keep on going here. And there we go. So that's as far up as it'll go. And that's obviously at my uh, length in. And obviously not many of you will be 36 inches of length. So you can you can check this by the gauge down the back. So obviously if you lose count of how many times you're not quite sure how that is, instead of getting a rule out and trying to measure it, you've got some little notches down the back of the shaft here, which will tell you what sort of length you're getting into. So I've got, it says 32 at the bottom, you can see the inches, the big notches of the inches there. So I've gone 33, 34, 35, and now at 36 inches. And obviously once you've set that, you're probably not really gonna change it massively there, but obviously you've got options to do it with that little wrench that we've got. Now for me, the beauty of this new concept of adjusting the length, which Ping have done before in the past, but they did it with like um, a sort of a connection at the bottom of the grip here and you had a little Allen key, it sort of stuck out, it looked a bit like it was bolted on and you had to loosen it to slide then the grip up and down. The problem you had with that, this, the grip also rotated left and right. So the, for me, the, the tricky bit was to get it the right length, get the grip square to the blade of the putter and then try and tighten at the same time without it moving. That I thought was quite tough. So it was a tricky process to do. And I would say a lot of golfers will probably will not get the grip back on square. By doing this much, much easier, you rotate, the grip isn't moving from left to right, it's just they're just working up and down the handle. So you can't change the, the, the flatness of the grip in relation to that club face. 
Okay, so what's the other big talk about, point about this putter? And it's the, actually the insert. Much, much softer is what Ping is saying. So basically there's two inserts here. There's a back insert and there's an insert that sits on the face. So basically that, that sort of turquoise colour there is the back insert, which sort of goes under and up the back of the front insert. And the black one is the one that goes on top and obviously is the front insert. So the front insert is very, very soft. A little bit like what Ping is saying is like the rubber on the end of a pencil softness. So it's very sort of spongy. But then with the harder rubber substance behind it, which they are calling us or, or relating to a little bit more like a car tread, uh, tire tread, so a lot of obviously firmer, then it doesn't give too much of a squashy sort of feel as, as the putter comes off. So ultimately what Ping is saying here, much softer on those short putts as maybe not making as much of a contact with the golf ball on the, on the lesser stroke. And then as you go into the longer putts, you still have a little bit of firmness feel to obviously get the judge uh, judgment of those longer putts. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some uh, sort of shorter putts here. Just got one about sort of six foot here. I'm um, gonna test out how this sort of soft feel is on the these sort of puts and I think as you touch it it does feel really really soft to be honest it's got some like little grooves cut in there uh, but I think initially as I put that down by the golf ball it, it looks really nice you know again putters are so personal in terms of what you like the look of and this is quite nice it's quite a rounded shape this is classed as a mid uh, sort of mallet now they do obviously traditional blade shapes mid mallets then some proper mallets which obviously a little bit bigger a little bit more sort of futuristic looking in a way uh, so this is sitting in the middle here the, which is the model of fetch which is what i've got so alignment wise it's good because it's got two black lines around each side of this uh circle in the middle and i'm guessing that circle is just helping to sort of take weight out there and then reposition it further back in the head again helping a little bit with balance and sort of moi and forgiveness of the actual head so sitting it down by the boy it does look quite nice and obviously the length is good for me it's got the pistol uh pp60 grip here which is a little bit thicker than a normal grip and get this first put hit here let's see how this feels that was a bit of a push there. Yeah, that feels lovely off the club face. Just missed on that one right there, but that does feel really sort of soft. Have another go here. Yeah, nice. It does feel very soft off the club there. I think the alignment is really good on this. It's got that bent sort of neck into here, which gives it, giving it that sort of face balance. Oh, just moving off the right, break slightly to the right here. Oh, that rolls really nice off the club face there. I really like and enjoy the feel of that. Okay, so we're going to jump into some longer putts here. So this is probably a good, oh, what is this, probably 30, 35 feet here. So much longer in the putt. So maybe just sort of start to test a little bit of that insert behind it. So Ping is sort of saying, still keeping that soft insert here, but obviously with a bit of a firmer background. So obviously as the stroke gets longer, the strike gets a little bit, uh, or club head speed gets a little bit more here, that back insert will probably just kick in, which is the firmer insert of the two. So let's see, again, it's the first long put of hit. Let me just have a couple of practice strokes first, get a little bit of a feel. Try and look at my hole as I'm doing that, which I think is a great little tip to just try and judge that length here as I'm making that stroke. Then get myself sort of settled. Let's see how this fetch performs. Yeah, it feels beautiful. Hey up, hey up. There you go, right. Might drop. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> well, that, that works. That's going straight in the bag now. So obviously a great pod on when I hit these others now. I need to follow that in from there. Um, but that feels absolutely superb. It keeps, seems to roll off the club face perfectly and i can promise that was my first put at first attempt at that let's give this other one a go yeah that one's not going to go in let's push that a little bit pace control good didn't get the line on that particular one but again the feel that's stunning definitely go and give these a try that that feels absolutely superb off it and i love the fact that this can be very customized and quite simply as well in terms of that length there obviously you just get that lie adjustment as you would do with your irons which is so important i think so many guys overlook that in terms of a, a custom fitting on a putter that rolls beautifully that's a lovely putt and the last one here 
I think the balance of it, I mean, I, like I say, I'm more of a straight back, straight through sort of style here. So this face balance really suits my stroke and it just feels very sort of balanced, like it just wants to swing back and through here. Again, that's lovely, just slack on a little bit of pace. Right, okay guys, there we go. So there's a new Sigma 2 line from Ping and this was the fetched model that I was trying. As I say, loads of different uh, shapes of heads in there for you to choose to get your ideal sort of one for your look and feel and what you like the look of, but also when one to meet up obviously with your stroke, whether it's a strong arc, mid arc or a straight back like I've got here. Great advantage of that adjustability. You've got different grip options to choose from also to get the right thickness. Obviously you've got lie options, which Ping are very sort of keen on getting these fitted. So you can get these in different sort of lines and also again to suit your height and build and the way you set up to that golf ball um, so maybe next time you're looking at a putter have a look at these definitely give these a try and just get fitted with one you know i think a putters is a lot where may interchange a lot more in golf bags for many golfers there we do fittings for irons for drivers everything else wedge fittings getting obviously more and more popular now but maybe putters are just overlooked a little bit so and it's mostly a club in the bag you've got to remember that so um, but if you enjoyed the video comment down below and we throw your thoughts there um, have you been fitted for your putter comment down below and what are your thoughts on the new ping range here in terms of sigma definitely one for you to go on to try that feels fantastic off the club face really impressed with that thanks so much for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you have please hit that subscribe button very much appreciated and hopefully catch up with you all very soon